Hello bookish friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. And for today's video, I am here with an exciting announcement. I talk about this in my January TBR and I feel like not a lot of people know about it, but I have created a book club and that book club is called Queer Reads. And we create. I created this book club with my friend Charlie who we're no longer friends, and that's a long story short. <laughs> uh, we're now ex-friends for reasons. Um, I made this book club with Charlie and I back in 2020, so we've been doing this since 2020, and I've been such a bad co-host uh, of reading my book clubs over the years that I felt like I need to do a video of me talking about the book club. Otherwise, I would not read these books these books throughout this year. Luckily, I picked all new releases that I'm very excited for. I thought it will be fun to share the first three months of the year with you, or first four months of the year with you guys, sorry, and then next couple four months. So when back coming back here in April, I'll announce the May, June, July, and August pick, and then so on and so on until we reach December. So thank you guys for coming along on this crazy ride. I want to try and do live shows for each of these books on my channel since I have StreamYard now. Uh, I want to do a live show of spoilers and non-spoiler live show. Let me know how you guys want to do that. I don't have any times or announcements for those yet, but future me can come in here and edit the times and dates and all that. Um, I just thought it would be a fun way to kick off our book club, start fresh, I want to introduce you to my friend Jess. She is here doing our book club with us. She's been in the club ever since we started, but I promoted her to my co to her be my co-host of the year for the whole entire year with me and I myself am the host of Queer Reads. We also have a Discord which I'll link down below. We also have a Fable account which I'll also link down below. I know not a lot of people like using Discord but if you want to it's down in the description box below. But without all that jibba jabber out of the way let's get started on what our four books of the month are going to be. So it is January 5th as I'm filming this. So uh, for the month of January, I've already read this book in December. I'll talk about this in my December wrap up. But for January, we are reading. Sorry, I have to flip these around. I forgot I haven't done that yet. We are reading Heartstopper Volume 5. I read this one already and I absolutely loved it. My only issue is, is that this is like the fifth installment of this graphic novel series and trust me I love the series so much but my only issue with this series is the miscommunication trope like come on Nick and Charlie get on the same page together get it with your life y'all are about to go off to college and all that spoiler alert <laughs> I really enjoyed this graphic novel I gave this three and a half out of five stars it wasn't quite a five star just because of some issues I had with the book myself and I, honestly, I am curious to see how everybody else is going to think about this book because it is such a short, easy read. And this book is already out in stores, so go ahead and pick up your copy. And again, I might do a live show of this either mid-month or end of the month. I haven't decided when yet. Then in the month of February, we thought... Oh, let's do another author that we really loved and um, let's do something cute and rom com -y for the month of Valentine. And so we picked OK Cupid by Mason Deaver. This is Mason Deaver's newest novel. This one just came out in January as well. This one just came out on January 2nd. Um, I have to return my copy to Amazon because my copies is kind of messed up at the moment. <laughs> like the cover is fine and everything, but if you go to page, let's see, can I have it? When you go to page 209, you flip through, it goes 210 all the way to 218. And then we're at 218. I don't know if you guys can see this. At 218. There is page 50, uh, 59 next to it. So I have page 59 and then it goes 60s all the way through the 80s in here until we reach the end of the book. 
So that is quite interesting that my book does that. So that's why I'm returning my copy, but hopefully I'll get a better copy. Um, anyways, this one is a YA contemporary standalone novel. And the summary for this one says, you can, you can think you know everything about love until you fall in love and discover how little you know. As a Cupid, Jude thinks they understand love a little bit more than the average human. It makes sense since Jude's been studying love their whole teen life. And yes, there has been some bumps in the roads and they're currently on probation for doing something that they absolutely definitely shouldn't have done. But they're ready to prove they can make matches without getting too involved. It's just a job, right? <laughs> it sounds intriguing and I hope I love this one because I loved all of Mason Deaver's other books except I haven't read The Ghost We Keep yet but hopefully I will uh, in 2024 so yay come join us this is our February book club pick and then our March book club pick is a new release that comes out in February but I was lucky enough to win the author's Instagram giveaway that she hosted way back in 2023 and I was able to get a signed book plate with this and a cool poster but the poster is of just the book cover and it's on my wall right there um anyways this book comes out February 6th and this is going to be our March book club pick and I'm going to read the back to you uh after I show you the cover because this the summary of the book and uh the reason why it says what it is on the back made us choose this book so or made me choose this book I should say and that is The Absent Underground by Jamie Packin Packin I'm so sorry for butchering that name so this came with a signed book plate which is really awesome because this is an arc that comes out February 6th the back of this one says Moonlon Rouge meets Holly Black in a thrilling sapphic friends to lover romance for Sil Silva for Selby, the, the Belle Empire city of Sevron is a wild romantic dream filled with cafes, cabarets, and glittering nightclubs. Eager to embrace the city's freedom after running away from home, she's traded high society sorrows for empty pockets and barren cabinets. At least she has Esme, the girl who offers Selby a home, and maybe if either of them dared something more what it sounds so good and this is the author's debut novel i believe oh i forgot to say uh on my instagram we could have an author interview with mason deaver and jamie packett these are going to be two separate author interviews obviously but i forgot to say mason deaver said maybe for an author interview i just need to shoot an email out to them and hopefully they respond and then same thing, I just need to message slash email Jamie and see if she's okay to do an author interview. I just realized that off the top of my head. Oh my gosh, this video is so long and it's only supposed to be an announcement video. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm so excited for this. This, as it says, it's a sapphic friends to lovers. And I really love that trope. And I don't think I've read a whole lot of friends to lovers last year. So this will be a nice change of pace from my morally gray and enemies to lovers trope that I've been reaching out for. Um, and I think this is a YA standalone novel. So yeah, very excited for this. And I know Bookish Signs has a beautiful sprayed edges edition if i can find a picture i'll put it here on the screen sorry editing me that sprayed edges is so stunning i cannot wait to see if i can get it or not but anyways super excited this is our march book club pick and i hope you join us because this cover just screams march to me i don't know about you guys but look at it it's so cute <laughs> so yeah this is what we're reading in march and then in April, I need to pull up my phone. In April, we are going to be reading The Poisons We Drink by Bethany Batiste. Batiste. That is the cover of the book. The tagline of this book says, The only thing more dangerous than magic is power. And the summary for this one is, In a country divided between humans and witches, Venus Stoneheart hustles as a brewer, making illegal love potion to support her family. Love potion is a dangerous business. Brewing her has painful 
deliberating side effects and getting caught means death or prison sentence. But what Venus is most afraid of is the dark sent sentinel magic within her. What? It sounds so good. And I believe this is also the author's debut novel as well. Um, oh no, this is just a new book by this author. Her debut novel came out in 2022. Um, but this is a YA thriller, I want to say. Maybe fantasy. I'm going to say more fantasy than thriller is my guess. Um, this comes out March 5th, but this will be our April book club pick, and I'm so excited for it. I honestly just love the cover, and I know we don't have a lot of pink books in my library, so very excited to see what color spine it will be, because it has like the pink and blue going on on the bottom, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, this is what we're reading in April, so there you have it. Those are the... Four books that we are going to be reading for the Curry Reads book club picks of the first four months of the year. I hope you join us and if you are planning to read any of these books let me know down below and I'll talk to you guys down in the comments. I hope you all have a great day or night or morning whatever time you're watching this and if you made it all the way to the end leave the pride flag emoji down below to see if you made it all the way through. Also, if you want to be added into our group chat on Instagram, Discord, or Fable, all of that will be linked down below. And I hope you join us and also message me if you want to join our group chat on Instagram. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello bookish friends. Welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. And for today's video, I thought it would be fun. Angel, I'm filming. Come over here. Come. Anyways, sorry about that. I am here with a fun little announcement video and I know I'm going to hate that clip. So, bye-bye.